guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen, and today I'm going to be doing the TVR book tag. Let's get started. Okay, this is a book tag, um, the TVR book tag, all about our to be read lists. So um, I don't actually have much to actually show you today. I'm just going to answer these prompts, and I will I will put those down below for you guys. And this is just a fun one. Um, to talk about what I'm looking forward to reading. So, um, without further ado. The first question is, how do you keep track of your TBR pile? And I'm a little weird. Um, I do several things, and um, I'm probably like the only person who does this. I don't know. But um, I have Goodreads, of course, and I'm always going to link that below. And that has um, an overall TBR list, and then it has my yearly TBR list. So, books that I really would like to get done within the year and um, I'm constantly adding to that it's it's a constant constant thing um, so I do that and then I do um, my bedside table has my monthly TBR TBR books on it so um, I keep those there the ones that I would like to get through through the month and then I actually have a three um, tray cart that um that I use and the top of the cart the top tray are the TBRs that I would like to um get to soon so we'll probably be on the next month's um TBR so they literally go from like the bookcase to the shelf to the cart to the bedside table to my hands so <laughs> I am super organized and uh most things uh, especially when it comes to like work related and reading related my house is not super organized but with those things I'm super anal and that's just how I am so they really do go through a process of sometimes I don't even make it to the shelf sometimes you know I get them and I'm like oh they're going straight you know I'm gonna read it this month or straight to the cart so um, as far as it goes there's a lot on the shelves that I that are on a TBR, a My Goodreads TBR that I need to read. Um, so yeah, that that's how I keep up with my piles because they are multiple piles of TBRs. Okay, is your TBR mostly print or ebook? And for me, that they're all print. I prefer print over um, ebook any day. Um, I when I was like had just had newborns each time. I did read a lot of ebooks because like when I wake up in the night to feed the baby, then it was easy to grab like my iPad and I could read that, you know, in the dark. Whereas I'd have to cut on a light, you know, and stuff for um for a book, for a print book. But I definitely prefer print books. I do not like reading um reading ebooks. I will do it if I cannot find it in print and I'm just dying to read it then yeah, I will, but majority of the time, I definitely prefer print books. Okay, the next one is how do you determine which book from your TBR to read next? And I don't really have a way, specific way that I do that. It's pretty much like, what do I wanna read, read next? Like, what am I dying to read next? Sometimes I'll mix it up. Um, I might have a lot of fantasy on my TBR, like bedside table, and then I don't want to read fantasy, 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 fantasy. So I'll just pull something that's not fantasy. Or sometimes I'm just getting tired of reading really long ones. So I'll pull one of the shorter ones. But for the most part, it's just what I feel like reading next. I don't I don't really have a, a plan in place of how to choose which one I want to read next. The next one is a book that's been on your TBR list for forever. And for me, that is Own Your Every Day. Um... I it's um, a self-help memoir type book that I have been meaning to read and it's been on it like I think I've moved it from like 2019 down to the 2020 and I just haven't gotten around to it yet it's not one I could find with like the library and stuff and um, I don't like buying a bunch of memoirs just because I know I probably won't read them again um, whereas other books I might read again so I don't really buy many um, nonfiction memoirs and such but uh, so that's why I haven't read it yet. I haven't like broken down and bought it, and it's not one I found at the library um, either. 
Hey, a book you have recently added to your TBR, and that is Two Truths and a Lie. That I think is my most recent one that I have added. It's um, it sounds it's a contemporary fiction, so it sounds really interesting. Um, I don't read I don't really read a lot of contemporary fiction. I'm trying to like get more into reading reading that genre instead of just sticking to fantasy. I'm trying to branch out a little bit. I'm trying book club, book of the month club it helps me with that. So trying to branch out just a little bit more. Um, a book on your TBR list that is strictly on there because a beautiful cover. Uh, that for me is Serpent and Dove. I love the cover of that book. It's beautiful and that's another one that um, I have really been meaning to read and haven't gotten around to it yet and I don't know why but I just have it. So that is um, a beautiful beautiful cover and uh, I think it was first put on my TBR list because of that and then um, then I started to see it more in like other people's videos and blogs and stuff. So, yeah. A book on your TBR that you never plan on reading. I don't have any of those. Why would it be on my TBR if I'm not gonna read it? I guess maybe if somebody like suggested to me, I'm like, oh, I put it on there. But I don't have any that I'm like, that's on there that I, I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna read that. I don't know. I just, I don't. An unpublished book on your TBR that you are excited for, and that is Bone Crier's Dawn, which is the sequel to Bone Crier's Moon. That sucker ended on such a cliffhanger. Like, I was so mad. I was so, so mad. I loved the book, and like, when I got to the end and I saw that the way it ended, I was angry, and then I was like, why is this next book not coming out till February 2021? So it's still gonna be out just in time for my birthday, and I'm super duper excited about it. Cannot wait for that one to come out. That is when I am super most excited about coming out. Um, a book on your TBR that basically everyone has read except for you, and I feel like for me, that's The Raven Boys. I hear about that all the time. I hear people mention it all the time, and I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. It's on the, it's on there. Um, I just haven't gotten around to reading it. And I've tried, like our library doesn't have it. I cannot wait until our library comes back with interlibrary loan because they know me and they know that that's how I get books. Like, but they're not doing that because of COVID and every book that comes in has to be like quarantined for 72 hours. So they're not, they're not doing interlibrary loan, which is sad to me. But um, hopefully, you know, I'll find it soon, but that is one of the Raven Boys that I feel like a lot of people have read that I just I haven't read yet. Um, a book on your TBR that everybody recommends to you. I'm not going to go with the specific. I'm going to say anything Colleen Hoover because I have had several people that I know that read a lot that, that love her stuff. And I would say that I have been, if I had to say an author that most people, that a lot of people have actually suggested to me their books, it's Colleen Hoover. So that, I'm going to go with that answer for for that one. A book on your TBR that you are dying to read for that. It is A Court of Mist and Fury. I have that one coming. The, the Postal Service has been really wonky here lately and it's been just sitting for a while and I can't wait to get it and I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to get it. It's probably going to be one of those that doesn't make it to the shelf or to the... Um, the little shelf it'll make it to or the cart it will make it straight to my bedside table because I'm ready to read it when it gets here so excited um, I'm, I'm ready to dive deeper into that series okay so how many books are on your TBR list so right now I'm not counting the ones that are on this shelf that I haven't read yet I'm gonna count the ones on my Goodreads for this year. So I have 13 that are on a combination of my cart and my bedside table. So there's 13 on physical ones there. And on my Goodreads list, there are 68 reads for this year left on my TBR and I just keep adding to it. So, <laughs> and it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. The more I see, the more they're gonna get added. Uh, it just is the way it is. I will not probably get through all of them this year, but I will try to get through uh, as many as I can. So those are that's how many is on my TBR. It's overwhelming but exciting. And if I were to go behind me and do all the ones that are on my shelf that I will eventually read, which I did do a video on before, 
I don't even remember how many there were. So we're just going to not count those this time. We're just going to count the ones that are on the Goodreads and my bedside doodles. So I hope this was a good um, video for you guys. Just a quick, interesting, fun video. Um, I would like to hear what's on your TBR list. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.